For more live from the King Edward Hotel here in downtown Toronto for Joel and Tyler's wedding, it's live from last week's 126. Let's go! my fellow tier walkers to another episode of live from last week hope last week has served you well just a quick shameless plug before we go on I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel so after feeling pretty tired over the past week chasing the amount of sleep that i've lost over the last several days yesterday going in for my first of my four night shifts i was definitely low on energy but after getting to work and finding out that we are actually overstaffed and the fact that the rest of the hospital didn't need me to float on other floors to help them out. I was ecstatic that I heard the news that I was allowed to go home early last night, take the baby rouge on a midnight journey back to the condo, pass out early, and get this much sleep last night. I mean, like, when was the last time I actually got more than eight hours of sleep in one night, guys? Anyways, now I'm more rested, but still in a set of scheduled shifts. Going in for my second of four night shifts tonight, I just have a quick birthday greeting to a fellow YouTuber and one of my YSIC alumni friends out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Georgina. Happy birthday, Georgina. I'm hoping that you and your family are doing well this time, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. So, check this out, guys. Yesterday, before going in for work, evidently we had summer-like weather with a high reaching upwards to 24 degrees. But when getting off work this morning, in less than 18 hours, the temperature had dropped more than 20 degrees overnight, down to high of only one degree, with my morning ride home being a chilly three degrees Celsius. I mean, what's going on with the Toronto weather, guys? Anyways, coming back home to get a decent post-night shift napping, I saw that the mother-in-law was with the family in Italy right now, having some authentic Italian pizza at this time. So I decided to treat myself to some pizza for my own, redeeming one of my Domino's pizza coupons, and getting a large pizza from here for only four bucks plus tax. And now, before I chow down on this pizza, having it all to myself, and going in for my third of my scheduled four night shifts, we just have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting out with one of my Y6CA friends who I remember working with back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marlene. Happy birthday, Marlene. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my other y friends who I'm remembering going to steamer parties with in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Reham. Happy birthday, Reham. And last but not least, a birthday greeting to one of my family friends in the States who I'm remembering visiting in Boston whenever we're in town. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Naja. Happy birthday, Naja. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. First of all, being May 18th, I just wanted to do a quick greeting to a couple that's enjoying life in Italy right now. A happy anniversary to the in-laws. Happy anniversary, Tito Chi. Happy anniversary, Tito Jan. I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying your family trip there in Europe at this time. And I can't wait to reunite again with you guys and celebrate your anniversary with y'all early next week. But moving on, after getting a lackluster amount of sleep in between my night shifts once again, I'm recalling several pictures of how the back entrance of this hospital had looked like over the years of the pandemic. For the first time since they built a temporary area for COVID screening at the beginning of the pandemic, this back entrance had finally been revealed. Anyways, speaking of working in a hospital, finally going in for my last of my four night shifts, wearing my get shift done shirt in the stretch of shifts, I only got one more night. So it's time to head into work and get this shift done. 
Guys, after finally wrapping up my fourth night shift in a row and eighth shift in the past 10 days, this morning I celebrated by taking the baby rouge out for an all-you-can-eat buffet at a new Centex gas station nearby. And after checking out the mileage, I saw that I was able to get a full tank of gas around 300 kilometers for a low, low price of under 15 bucks. Hey anyways, after being too excited today, only sleeping post night shift for just over an hour, I made my way downtown this evening, parking the Baby Rouge in an area that has so many condos that I haven't seen before, in the King Street West area, to check out a Jays game with a coworker that you guys know has seen a Raptors game with me in the past. The only thing is, when I got to the entrance gates of the stadium, security was being pretty strict with this breaking news. So, this just in, at the Rogers Center, they're not allowing any refillable popcorn buckets or the refillable cups to be brought into the stadium. No more. So guys, it's a pretty sad time for me saying goodbye to these sources of joy that I had in previous Blue Jays games in order to gain admission to the game tonight. Buy a refillable popcorn bucket and refillable pop cup. Thank you for your service. On a more positive note though, there was a Blue Jays hat giveaway for the first 15,000 fans who walked through the entrance doors. And to be honest guys, this baby actually looks pretty good. I also saw that there was a sale on these team issued Blue Jays baseball pants. What? Pants? Ooh, Lourdes Guriel and his doo-doo stains. <laughs> yeah. And another cool thing was running into one of my buddies that I haven't seen in quite a while at the Dome today. Yo, check out who I ran into at the Blue Jays game. From Wysick. Hey. Jason. Yo, what's up guys? <laughs> hope to see Jay on the beach. Right? Yo, man, it's great running into you. And I do hope to see you play too I'm on the beach. You. But yeah guys, before we go on to watching the game, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made traveling in Mallorca, who you guys remember sent me this holiday card from earlier this year. This birthday shout out goes out to you Amber. Happy birthday Amber. I'm hoping that at this time you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. All right y'all, moving on. Time to find where my coworker Gomes is. <laughs> and check out this baseball game that we have tonight. So after chowing down on these chicken tenders and choosing Gomes on attending yet another game with me, cheers! Vladdy Jr.'s strikeout right here. Ah. And the boys not able to come up with significant rallies. Oh. We went home disappointed that the Jays couldn't come out with the win. Uh. But after going home and passing out for about six hours trying to catch up on some lost sleep, we're on to some happier news in the form of birthday greetings today. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my former co-workers who used to set up some potlucks during night shift. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tita Juliet. Happy birthday Tita Juliet. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who I'm remembering playing in Rob's pickup volleyball group. This birthday shout out goes out to you Alex. Happy birthday Alex. We've also got a birthday greeting to a fellow 2011 World Youth Day friend that I met back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you Maria. Happy birthday Maria. And last but not least, a birthday shout out to a beach volleyball legend on the beaches of Woodbine who I know will have a good time celebrating his birthday at the beach later tonight. This birthday shout out goes out to you Peter. Happy birthday Peter. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But moving on, we also have some lifetime celebrations to celebrate today. 
one that I've actually circled on my calendar over the past year since we celebrated their engagement on a Live From Last Week episode in the past. We're at the St. Paul Basilica in Toronto for this momentous occasion. The wedding of my two former co-workers, Joe and Tyler. Congratulations, Congratulations, Joe and Tyler. Tyler. <laughs> now, during the wait between the wedding ceremony and wedding reception, as you guys can see, I had time to do a quick makeover, something that I've actually done before for one of my friend's weddings in the past, making my way to Scarborough for a nice before, and after video of this makeover, rushed home to quickly shave in less than two minutes to reveal this baby face. Then hella ran to catch my GO train just in time to make it here to downtown at the Omni King Edward Hotel for Joe and Tyler's wedding reception. So after attending that amazing wedding that we had last night <laughs> and trying to take these flowers home from the wedding for the wife even with me struggling to take them on the TTC bus ride to Scarborough as well as trying to carry them on my head through the downtown core as seen here to taking them on another TTC bus transfer I was finally able to display them back at the condo Ta-da! And although it was late, being sobered up and not feeling sleepy at all I took a nice 4am middle of the night walk to the Scarborough GO station to pick up the beloved Mini and take her home then after passing out late last night getting only a three hour sleep i got myself ready for this busy day currently at toronto's pearson international airport waiting to fly out to europe to meet up the wife and the saga family but before we head out on our flight i have a quick birthday shout out to one of my high school friends from back at holy trinity this birthday greeting goes out to you jenny happy birthday jenny I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. But yeah guys, it's time to get on that plane, and I'll catch y'all in Europe tomorrow. And now, after 24 hours of travel, on no sleep, not even resting a little bit on the plane, I got to the Amsterdam airport on a stopover, obtaining a new European Union stamp on my passport, then arriving into the Roma airport. The first time being here since I went in 2011 during World Youth Day. Shout outs to my SMOT and SJOC group. Venturing, trying to figure out how and where to take the train into downtown Rome. Connecting through the Rome Tibertina train terminal. 
a hub where I was able to find my first Italian McDonald's, get a nice little Happy Meal here, and enjoy eating it on my two hour journey on the train to Florence, trying the chicken sandwich that they have here that was actually pretty good. And after riding the train with these scenic Italian views of the countryside, I had one more stopover before finding myself here in Florence to meet up with the Saga family and the wife. I found them! Hi guys! <laughs> Welcome to Italy! To me! <laughs> in Italia! Benvenuti a Italia! They then acted as tour guides showing me this marvelous church in the background. The beautiful Santa Maria Cathedral here in Florence. And while we're here guys, we're just going to do a quick birthday shout out to one of my Wysik friends that I remember when she lived downtown. This birthday shout out goes out to you Megan. Happy birthday Megan. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And with that, we'll wrap up this week's episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what we've been watching, feel free to follow Jiwako BOE on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.